Hello everybody, my name is Anna. So I have a question for you guys. How many of you guys love candy? How many of you guys wish candy would fall off the sky? <laughs> so today I brought um, a piñata. Um, piñatas are not only for parties, what well, they are. <laughs> well, I have piñatas in my house to just play around with. I love them so much. And um, they bring peace to me in some way, and I'll explain why. So I will be um, talking about um, the religious way, meaning of a piñata and um, why I identify with it. So a piñata is usually made with um, seven combs. This one has six. I couldn't find one. <laughs> Didn't want to bring a big one. And um, it's usually made with um, bright colors, which um, means temptation. And um, the seven cones means the seven deadly sins. And um, the candy means forgiveness of the God. The blindfold that they usually put means unfaith. So um, this um, goes to my next point, which um, is my story with the other that happened to me. So um, when I was seven, I accidentally stepped on a little bird and it killed him. It was an accident. I felt guilty for six months. I um, went to church. I was a religious person when I was younger. My grandma used to always take me to church. So every day I would go to church and pray for what I did. I felt bad. I thought I was going to hell. <laughs> and, yeah, I was scared. I would just go and pray and pray. And my grandma would ask me, why would you go to church a lot? Usually I didn't. I would only go on Sunday. And I told her what happened. So on my eighth birthday, they um, gave me this like big birthday party for me and my twin sister. And um, they brought um, two piñatas. Hers was the princess one. <laughs> Mine had a bird on it. <laughs> oh my god, I was so mad at my grandma because I had forgotten about it already. But she had to bring it up again. I was mad. I wanted to run away from it. So she told me that when I broke it, I broke the piñata that um, I would be forgiven, that the gods would forgive me, that the bird soul was inside, still like um, trying to escape. So I felt bad. I didn't want to hit the piñata because I thought I was going to kill the bird again. <laughs> so I didn't want to do it. I had to, like, they would just take me. So they put the blindfold, and my grandma was just telling me, just relax, think about what happened. It was an accident. You didn't mean to step on the bird. And um, I I went, and I broke it. I felt bad, but then I'm like, okay, he's, you know, he's going to be free. Everything is going to be okay. I'm going to be forgiven. So um, I was the only one who um, actually hit the piñata because of that reason. My grandma didn't say why. People were complaining, like, why can I hit the piñata? But um, I didn't want her to tell any. I didn't want her to tell anyone because I was so ashamed of what I had done. And um, so I broke it, and candy fell on me. And she's like, "There, God forgave you, you know. So now you could live without having that guilt that you said on the little bird. It was an accident. And yeah, and I. That's my story. <laughs> So I hope you guys um, learned something about um, um, why I relate to piñata and uh, when you guys go to a party and break piñata, think about something that you guys did if you guys felt really bad, you know, and just feel free if God forgave you. Well, that's my experience with it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story. Thank you. <laughs>